Hey Zoo family, it's just after midnight on November 1st. I just got to the hospital. I literally just finished filming our last vlog and I'm about to go upstairs. I'm thinking Melanie's asleep in the room and I'm not gonna be doing any vlogging and then when I get up there, I'm gonna just head to bed and get some rest and um, we're gonna be waking up at 4.30 in the morning. They're going to begin the induction process at 5 a.m. and hopefully Melanie's body will take over and she'll start going into the normal process of labor and Daisy will be born, um, fingers crossed, today before noon, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm just gonna be bringing you along the way for as much of a journey as I can. Uh, I don't know when the next time I'll film is. It'll be either be right when I get up there right now or 4.30, I'll see you in a second. It's 5 a.m. On her birthday. It's that time, on her birthday, yeah. <laughs> it's November 1st and this will be sweet Daisy's birthday and uh, they're going to induce Melanie as soon as they move her down to the labor and delivery unit. And they're gonna put that call in to move her in about six minutes. And um, then as soon as we get there, things will go into action. They'll administer Pitocin to continue moving labor along. You said you had contractions last night? Yeah, for several hours. Yeah, when I came you were kind of already uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get here till a little after midnight, like I said, and uh, she was already uncomfortable at that time. Yeah. Yeah, and I went straight to bed and then apparently blinked and woke up. It was <laughs> 4 a.m. and they were doing a blood draw. And uh, and then I blinked again and it was 4.45 and I needed to get up because <laughs> they were gonna move us in 15 minutes. So I'm dragging a little bit our doula uh, Emily is gonna get me coffee on the way graciously. Um, she stopped at Duncan. <laughs> it's totally self-serving, but I, I need to be able to make it through the whole day because I'm gonna be the one in charge of Daisy. Um, what's gonna happen, Zoo family, the, the plan for today is um, that uh, our doula will be in charge of Melanie's birthing plan, making sure that everything happening in the room goes according to her birthing plan. I will be the coach during um, contractions. So I'll be the primary voice Melanie is listening to, telling her to breathe, and giving her encouragement, and doing breathing exercises with her. And then her mom will be in charge of uh, literally everything else, like <laughs> pressure points and um, positions that she's in during labor, and kind of telling her, giving her ideas of <clears throat> How to alleviate pain, a little bit of pain management, yeah. maybe. So the three of us together will... Are my rock stars. Yeah, we'll just be helping her <laughs> get through, especially at the points where she, she doesn't feel like she can think for herself anymore. Melanie gets, I think, I don't know about all of them, but I know Melanie gets to that point where she needs to be told what to do <laughs> during labor and delivery. Because yeah. the, the contractions, they come fast and they're painful. And especially those last ones where you can't push yet. Yeah, the last ones are, yeah. Because they're telling you, don't push don't yet, push, don't, don't push, because maybe you're only nine centimeters. And she's like, I gotta push, I gotta push. That's when she needs the most encouragement, mm -hmm. actually, even more encouragement than the ones where she has to push. And then today, because Daisy is a little under five so pounds, small. probably, the pushing part will actually go fast relative right. to to other pregnancies. I okay. think I have like this really weird dream or anxiety that the doctor won't catch her or something like oh, that. Oh. Yeah. Hey, there's enough of us in the room. Somebody will catch her. Somebody will do that. Someone will do that. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kirk. We just got a transfer to LMD. Great. So as soon as we hear from them, we're gonna send you down. Okay. Good deal. Thank you Sounds so much. Good. We're All ready. Right. Look at you guys. That's yeah. great. Um, okay. Caleb was our smallest baby prior mm -hmm. to today. He was six pounds even when he was born. Daisy will blow that out of the water <laughs> by at least a pound or more. And um, Caleb, you only had to push for 20 minutes. Yeah, when it came time to push, out. 20 minutes and he was out. So it could be even less than that today. They literally said, you know. She'll basically fly out. She'll fly out. <laughs> She's ready to go. So we are, um, we're gonna show you as much as we've planned. And um, as with Timmy's birth video, there's a point at which I will say, okay, Zoo family, this is the last time you'll see Melanie because we're getting into those 
those transition. contractions of transition, right? Where I'm not gonna put a camera anywhere near her anymore. <laughs> and then boom, you'll see, hopefully see Daisy. In anticipation of all the comments we're gonna get, Melanie wants me to be videoing her. I know there will be people who, why for sure <laughs> well, yeah like get the camera out of her face like they're angry at me like it already has has happened this week well, so <laughs> it's okay people want the best for you and they they're in they're like they're um, involved they care yeah yeah they care they care <laughs> and they're imagining themselves in your position and they wouldn't want a camera in your face but this is a way we've lived for so many years that this is yeah. part of our part of our life so you ready Yeah. As ready as you're gonna be. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna pray and they're gonna move us any minute now. So next time you see us, we'll be in the labor and delivery room. some contractions which is great because they haven't even given her the Pitocin yet. Mm -hmm. You got this baby. So this is the room. Nice little artwork up there that slides down. Yeah, yeah, I don't even remember where we were but I know it was not over here because it even looks different, different colors and everything. Just uh, a room. There you go. There's the 360 real quick. And uh, yeah, she'll be coming before you know it, Zoo family. This is our focal point. You will know this bear from previous videos. Check out the room reveal video and you will have seen this little bear. It's uh, it and our Tennessee video. And our Tennessee video, that's right. It's supposed to represent uh, Chloe and Daisy, obviously. So this will be sitting somewhere, like right over here on this table. In fact, is that a good spot for it, Mel? That's perfect. And then Melanie, while she's laboring, can look at it. And it's great to have a focal point that you look at and and just focus on. It gives you something to focus on. Rather than focusing mentally on the pain, you focus on the bear, it makes you think of the memories. It just helps with pain management. Just one of the little, many, many little things we'll do. We'll also do some breathing exercises, little Lamaze exercises that we learned together all the way back from when we were having Caleb. Yeah, those little things stick with you and they help with pain management. She also has a yoga ball here that she'll be able to labor on. That's great for like relieving a lot of pressure. Um, that's super, 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 super duper helpful when that pressure starts to build and because she, she can feel it all the way up her back and through basically from her knees to her what upper back, you feel a lot, it's just intense, intense pressure and that helps alleviate it while you're leading up to transition. What else do we do? We, we do breathing, oh, we'll, we'll walk. We'll do a lot of walking. We'll actually be able to take this guy over here and walk some hallways because it just helps to sometimes labor and uh, uh, labor while you walk rather. So we'll probably be doing that as soon as they give us the order that we are allowed to. She has done incredibly well. She's been really fighting really, really hard. And, um, for all the fighting, she progressed a few centimeters. Um, they did an epidural because she was getting to the point where she was um, dangerously low on energy. And we can't have her so low on energy that when it comes time to push, she can't. So they gave her the epidural. It's doling the pain so that she can try and rest now. She's all the way up to five, a little over five centimeters. And then after a little while here, maybe we could get to the time where she's hitting into transition, which means she's in really in the home stretch. So we are going to see how she progresses and take it one step at a time. Like I said, she's getting some um, some rest, but the next sound you hear could be the whimpering of baby Daisy. That other noise you just heard was not Daisy, but hopefully soon you will hear Miss Daisy making her debut into the world. They got a bed ready over there. Do you want to look? They got it ready. They got it ready for her. 
you worked so hard. She's your fish present. Mm. <laughs> You hear your baby? Yes, my baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so little. Oh, but she's good. She's strong. Breathe, honey. You did it. You accomplished the task, honey. You did so wonderful. I'm so proud of you. I looked at the hall and saw you watching. I know, good, I know, that's yeah. amazing. I, we were hoping for that five pound mark. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh but my because gosh. of her 34 weeks, she knows she'll be going to the next Of course, NICU. yes, yeah, we know. And that's that's where we want her. That's what's best. Now I'm going to have her wrapped in two blankets. That way she stays nice and warm. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? She looks she like, like Timmy. Timmy. I think she looks like I'm Timmy, too. Here. Wonderful mom. Thank you for coming now. Thank you for coming now. <laughs> Thank you for finally coming. Oh. Aren't those precious little? Isn't that amazing? How great she's doing. Little block every bag going for 24 hours. No, I think that's good. You did so wonderful. Everything is sore. You, oh, I know, baby. I know. I know. You did so well, honey. You did so wonderful. I'm a lady. you for me. It's all deserving to you and to God. Let me tell you, we just got to be involved. You did wonderful, Mom. Thanks for coming. Of course, thank you. Here's like a negative. Yes. Amazing. Look at that. All right. First piece of artwork. I know. Wow. Oh my baby. goodness, I know. Oh baby, that was tough. Oh, now you get it. Oh my goodness. I didn't even do nothing. Oh man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, what do you do with that? Oh man, she's too pretty. She's gorgeous. That's ridiculous. She's perfect. <laughs> Hi Muffin. I'm Daddy. I'm Daddy. Your eyes are beautiful, baby. Hi. All right, we have the house. Hi, so love. Cheerio waits. This is what we're going to use to transport her upstairs. Great. Daisy, dear. We're going to go for a ride. What? We're going to go for a ride. Yes, we are. Yes, baby. Hello, muffin.
Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna go for our first elevator yeah, ride. Here we Bye. go. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that little thing. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable day, Zoo family. Melanie fought so hard to deliver this baby naturally. Um, it's, it's a long story, but short version of the story is she labored for maybe seven hours and only progressed like one centimeter. And then they recommended an epidural because she was getting tired and was not gonna be available come the time of pushing. And they gave her the epidural her body relaxed and then things went super fast. In a mere in a mere 10 or 15 minutes, she went from five centimeters to nine. I mean, really fast. We couldn't even keep up with it. Daisy was here out of nowhere. And um, we're just so thankful. She is beautiful and she cried on her own. She breathed on her own and and uh, she's getting her first feeding already, and we're just blessed, Zoo family. It's been a wonderful day. Uh, Melanie really put her heart and soul into this uh, last pregnancy, and uh, it's definitely a victory, and we got our prize, our beautiful baby girl. She's up in the NICU right now, getting some attention, getting some food, getting some warmth, and we're gonna go see her on the way to Melanie's recovery room. And we will be seeing her regularly throughout our stay. When Melanie's discharged, Melanie will actually stay here at the hospital and will stay in that NICU pod full time until Daisy can come home. Um, I might take her home now and then so she can see the kids and have a little bit of normalcy and pack new clothes and come back for another stretch of time. But we, we totally expect her not to be in the NICU very long, especially since that major first hurdle of her breathing on her own, um, exhibited by how much she has been able to cry. The steroids did their job and developed those lungs and the girl came out strong. She's five pounds. That's, that's huge for the NICU. It really is. Um, relative to most of the babies. So we are so thankful to God for blessing us with Daisy and my girl is getting some rest now. So we're going to head to her recovery room soon and we'll bring you along when we go visit Daisy. So after a long day, we had planned to go visit Daisy, but it did not happen. Melanie is um, having a tougher recovery than we thought. And because of that, I'm going to end the video earlier than I expected. You're going to get to see way more of Daisy tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but you did get to see plenty of her today because I took so much footage. Who knows what this is going to end up looking like. Uh, Mom is out cold. She is tired, plus she's on two different medications that make her very tired. So uh, she's almost in a sedated state. So um, you're just going to have to see her tomorrow when she's hopefully more alert and able to go to the NICU and hold Daisy like I know she really wants to. Thanks for watching this video, being part of our journey, and really this is just the beginning. So, see you soon, Zoo family. Mm -hmm.